Once you're ready to begin recording your own video with Screencastify, um, you press the record button uh, in the settings screen that you can get to from the little icon at the top of the, the uh, browser. Um, and uh, I'll, I, I, that was in my last video that I showed how to get to that. Um, in this video, I wanted you to see what happens after you press record. Now, for some strange reason, I, I'm not able, I was not able to record Screencastify doing its thing. It, uh, it wouldn't let me uh, do a screen recording of Screencastify doing a screen recording. And that seems kind of reasonable. Um, but I did find a YouTube video. Uh, and this young lady uh, it does a really good job of showing us what we're going to do here. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start playing her video. Um, she just pressed, well, actually, maybe I can go back just a smidgen so you can see where she finds the record button. Let's see if she shows us where she initially presses on it. Um, that's good enough. Let's go ahead and, and go. So in her browser, there was that little uh, Screencastify icon at the top or toolbar button. And, uh, and she clicked on it to get this menu. And she's about to click on the record button. Here we go. You're ready to go. All you hit is record. It's going to tell you if you have more than one window open or you use two monitors, which exact screen you want to record. Or if you're doing the tab version, you're going to be able to select just one tab that you want to record. And you can hear that it's telling me I'm starting to record. And now it is recording. Once you're done, you hit stop. And it's actually going to bring up it, your video right here. By the way, did you guys see where she hit stop? Let me go back up just so you can see for sure. Um, down here, there's a, there's a little bar that appears, and that's where you can hit stop sharing. Um, don't hit hide, uh, at least I don't think so, not until you get a little more experience, um, because then it might be tricky to figure out how to stop the screen recording. Um, so anyway, she clicks stop there. Let's see what happens then. Once you're done, you hit stop, and it's actually going to bring up it, your video right here. You're going to see that you... Okay, so once she hits stop on the recording, she gets this menu here, and you will too, and I did as well, um, and it gives you all the various options for how you can go ahead and make this video available in your Canvas um system. Let's call it Canvas website, okay? And uh, and so one way to do this is you can copy shareable link. See, the thing is, is Screencastify automatically saves your video into your Google Drive. If you say copy shareable link, you can go and paste that into Canvas. The other thing you can do is you can get the embed code and you can copy the embed code into Canvas. And that's a whole nother, you know, that, that you should be getting from a another uh, workshop on how to use Canvas, okay? But I just wanted to give you folks a heads up as to how you would do the Screencastify recording. Okay, I think that's a good stopping point for, oh, one other thing I did want to say. I wanted to point out that what does Screencastify do? I, I, I never really said what a screen recorder does. A screen recorder makes it so that you can move things, you can, you can point to things in your screen and you can record yourself narrating what's happening. Um, you can change to new tabs, you can run a a PowerPoint slideshow or a Google, I'm sorry, a Google slide, a Google slideshow. Um, you can do all sorts of things. And while Screencastify is recording what we see, it's also recording what I'm saying. That's what a screen recorder does. Okay, that's a good stopping point for now.